When you're bored, search the words Ski Iraq. We two hopelessly avid skiers did, and this is where we ended up. Sites describing a joke t-shirt and a rumored ski area. From there, this is where we ended up. This might be the first time for these guys to put the skis on a taxi. Let's hope it's not the last. In the city of Dohuk, we asked where we might find a ski area. Or at the very least, snow. Osmond. 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 We're on the right track. Step by step, man. We hired a private car to drive us into the far northern mountains. We were told that if we couldn't find a place to ski there, then we weren't going to find it anywhere. So we are really, really climbing right now, which is a good sign. Bad sign is everything is bone dry still, so I don't know. But look what we're finding. We passed a military checkpoint, seen here in the distance, and ended up in a town called Choman, near the border of Iran. We were closer than ever to skiing in Iraq, but the soldiers at the Choman checkpoint were not pleased by our arrival. They told our driver we could not stay. Through our translator in the North Iraq capital, Erbil, we attempted to find a solution. Because they got his license plate, where does he have to check in? Where does he have to tell them I'm back? Yeah, why do we have to go all the way back to Arville? Can't we go back one city or two cities and just go past that checkpoint? This is really frustrating though because now they're saying we can't stay here because we have to check in at Erbil. Uh, yeah, you have to check in at Erbil tonight because we didn't. We have to get a permission or something like that. And come on. Finally, we agreed with the guards to leave before nightfall, which didn't give us much time. And then we got more bad news. There are still deadly leftovers of the extended war between Iran. Kurdish guerrillas and Saddam Hussein's army. Potentially they put landmines up in these mountains too and stuff, so surprising thing they have to deal with. Al Ham. Al Ham. Al Ham is landmines. Came to a crossroads. We don't know whether to go this way or this way. We don't have too much time. Come across some guys doing some mine work. Al Ham. You can see they've got their mine gear. And uh, trying to do some demining. I guess we asked them for snow and they said, keep going. Our fearless driver. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Mojo. <Mojo. laughs> no mines. No mines, except mine. why did they have mine, a bunch of mine equipment there? Holy crap. Okay, this is the craziest road I've ever been on. What do you think? Crazy? <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> oh man. It is so scary. So we've arrived at a at a tiny village up at the like at the very foot of these huge mountains. We said we wanted to hike this ridge right here, but they said we couldn't because there's. Did you ask him if it's safe in the whole valley, or is it only safe on the road? I need to be a little bit more specific than that because when you say other side, there's there there's the other side of a mountain. So could you just ask him to say, is it only the road, or is there? is the, would it be safe to continue and then get to the snow and climb up? Did they say anything like that? Could you ask, could you ask them? One sec. Uh. They're just saying on the road. Yeah, I'm just checking to see. Well, I mean, it's confusing because he says it's on the other side. What does other side mean? You know, we gotta, I wanna try to find as much specifics as possible. This is, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Okay, okay. Uh oh. Ah, oh, it's cut. It cut off. Last signal. Our driver refused to continue, so we were on our own. We're not quite on the we're not quite on the top of a peak right now, but I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. 
we've done some stupid stuff in order to get here. But I mean, come on guys, ski your rack. Can you believe it? That is awesome. Skiing in Iraq? Check.